Hello, everyone, and welcome to the eighth annual NWB User Training Workshop. I'm Ben Dichter, and I'll be going through an introduction for how to get the most out of this workshop. So this is our first remote workshop. Usually we do annual workshops at a site like Genalia. And we've been thinking a lot about how to achieve the most given this new format. So we realized that while it was kind of a bummer that we couldn't go to Genalia or another beautiful campus, there are also a number of advantages that we're going to try to leverage through this workshop. One is that it allows us to access our worldwide community and to communicate with neuroscientists all over the world in a new way. Uh, when we did our workshop at Genalia, we would have to fly people in or they would have to fly in and... Um, it was logistically very difficult for people outside of the U.S., but now we can provide much more seamless access to people all over the world, which, of course, with the name Neurodata Without Borders, is really central to our mission. Two is that we can provide more specialized training for specific subdomains of NWB users. So NWB is really quite diverse in the topics that we cover from extracellular electrophysiology to intracellular electrophysiology, calcium imaging, all of those different types of data take different data types. And in the past, we have just done one tutorial and kind of tried to have a compromise between all of these different groups. But with this new platform, we can actually provide targeted specialized tutorials for those different groups. Three is that it allows us to give our tool developers breakout sessions to teach you about their NW-enabled tools. So in the past, maybe we could invite one or two tool developers in to give talks about their tools, but again, logistically, it's difficult if we all have to be in one place. However, with this format, we've been able to reach out to maybe eight different tool developers um, and give each of them a one-hour breakout session to lead in-depth training on their specific tool and how it relates to NWB. We're really excited about this because we really think this is the future for NWB, really creating close collaborations and partnerships with tool builders that help people accelerate their science right out of the gate. Four is that it allows us to create educational videos. All of the lectures that we will be giving here will be posted publicly and accessible by all um, even outside of this, of this workshop. And this is going to be really important, particularly for those participants who are outside of the American time zone. They might not be able to attend some of the later sessions because they'll be going on in the middle of the night. Um, but we will be posting our, all of the recordings of the videos on YouTube and providing links to them. So go ahead and check the agenda and, and you can catch up on any critical training videos that you really wanted to see but you weren't able to make. Five is this new platform gives us the ability to use polls to get feedback in real time. So we promise there'll be very short polls, one or two questions, but it'll really help us hone in our instructional material going forward. And six, finally, this helps us encourage discussion about data standards and open science between neuroscientists all over the world. And we hope that the communication platforms that we provide will enable you to kind of brainstorm with other like-minded neuroscientists and really build the community. So as of making this slide, we had 200 registered participants from all over the world. And this has really been fantastic for us because we really have not had this kind of global reach in one of our workshops before. We usually have about 30 participants registered for one of these trainings. So 200 is a bit of a jump for us, but we're really excited about the opportunity. And we think this is a real testament to how much NWB is growing. While most of our attendees are from the United States, we have people um, from China, from Russia, from Ethiopia, Thailand, all over Europe, and within the United States um, from many of the different states. So we're really excited and we hope that this continues to grow in the future as more people learn about and start to use NWB. So I want to go over the schedule a little bit um, just so you kind of understand how best to use your time during these four days. 
I've marked here the blue events, which we really recommend, and these will be held in the main room. Now, of course, nothing is required per se, but these are events that we think will really help you. We'll be giving you information, perhaps updates as things come up, and we'll be um, providing general information that will be useful to, we think, everyone in this hackathon. The orange sessions are elective, and you should you should go to whichever ones you think would be useful to you, but we certainly wouldn't expect you to go to all of them. In fact, in some cases, there are multiple sessions going on at the same time, so you can't go to all of them unless you go back and watch the YouTube videos after the fact. They are meant to give you very specialized instructional material that would be useful for some subsection of our user base. And while we think all of them will be valuable, we also think that hacking time is valuable. And it'll be up to you to decide whether it would be more useful to go to this breakout session or it would be more useful for you to hack and do your conversion or do your tool integration. Um, on the first day, after this talk and after Oliver gives you an intro to NWB, we'll be doing specialized modality-specific tutorials. So you can see here at, at 10, we're going to have simultaneously a MAT and WB extracellular electrophysiology and a Python Pi and WB extracellular electrophysiology tutorial. So choose whichever language suits you best here. Um, and then the same is going on at 11 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, there is an intracellular electrophysiology tutorial that is both Python and MATLAB. So we would expect users to go to one of these five tutorials, or maybe two, or you could go to more if you want to, but don't feel obligated to go to more than would be useful for you. Then after that, there will be an NWB enabled tools tutorial where we're going to allow our, um, our, the tool makers to give lightning talks explaining their tool and kind of giving you an intro so you can decide whether you want to go to their breakout session later. The main room, the room that you're in now, and we'll create different main rooms for each day, that will be open from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. PDT all four days. And the blue events will be held in the main room. Um, and beyond that, when a blue event is not going on, the main room will be open and we'll have one of the development team in there. And feel free to come into the main room and chat with us about any issues you may be having or any kind of specific questions or, or if you need some advice about how to convert your data or integrate tools. That We're here to help you do that. So just stop in the main room um, and, and shoot a, us a message. We have also provided uh, a Google Calendar, which gives you this kind of view into the schedule with Zoom li links for each of the events. So how do you ask for help and get involved? Um, during the talks, we, we have a number of participants, 200 different participants, so we're going to ask that you not um, try to unmute yourself and ask a question. In fact, we're going to force mute on everyone just so uh, you don't have some like lawnmower going on in the background that's ruining it for everyone else. Instead, we encourage you to type the message in the Zoom chat and the developer team will be able to read that and answer your questions in the video. Um, also, you should feel encouraged to sign up for the NWB Slack workspace and ask questions there. That can be kind of a, a more collaborative environment where you can provide um, snippets of code or links. So that, that platform might be better in some situations. Um, we also encourage you to submit GitHub issues. This is the primary way that we track work in both Pi and WB and Matt and WB. So go ahead um, and go to the PineWB and MattWB GitHub repositories and open up issues if you're having any problems, and we'd be happy to help you there. Also, if you want to collaborate with other people, um, one thing we encourage you to do is to sign up for a lightning talk. We provided a link for a very short form where you can describe a project that you're planning on working during this workshop hackathon. and um, 
if you're interested in letting other people know about it or getting other collaborators to help you with this project, we really encourage you to give a very short lightning talk, very low expectations, just um, a, an opportunity for you to, to let others in the community know what you're doing. And we have, I think, one person signed up for this as of this talk, and we're hoping for a few more. So um, go on and sign up if you're interested. We also have a projects page on the GitHub page. So um, this is somewhere where you can post information about your project, and this really helps us, um, the NWB team, track all the different projects going on, that are going on in this workshop. So if you're working on something, I know um, maybe we have five or six people already submitted projects, so that's really been great. But if you decide you have a project that um, that you want to let us know about, please go ahead and create a project on the GitHub page. So finally, I wanted to let you know about the team that's going on that you're going to see our faces throughout this, um, this workshop. Oliver Rubel is the NWB project lead at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. Andrew Tritt is the lead developer of NWB. He really um, spearheaded a lot of the code, especially in the early days, and he's um, instrumental on kind of the backend infrastructure, particularly with HDMF issues, also at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. Ryan Lee, a core developer of NWB, also at Lawrence Berkeley National Labs, has really done a lot of work in organizing this workshop and in the development of NWB in general. This is me, Ben Dichter. I'm the NWB community liaison, and I have my own company called Catalyst Neuro. Pam Baker from the Allen Institute will be co-leading this workshop as well. So that about wraps it up for our introduction to this hackathon. Without further ado, I'll hand it off to Oliver Rubel to give you an introduction into NWB.